Morning everyone. Today I'm going to just um, take you through a little um, demonstration uh, of working with a thing called frottage, uh, which means to rub in French um, and it's a kind of way of making art and doing drawings in a slightly different way and I think it um, might work just to get some of you started on this um, market. Uh, Undercroft Gallery exhibition thing. So last week I asked you to gather a bit of cardboard together, tea boxes or something like that, and um, what I've done is I've prepped a drawing of a fish, um, just a rough one to give me an outline, which I've chopped out, and then I've drawn the insides of a fish, again, not very beautifully, this is all done last night. Um, so I've got the idea of a skeleton, which I've tried to chop out in one piece, because it's gonna enable me to use it in an interesting way and also kept the outline of it as well um, because I might be able to use that in within one of my drawings. So, first thing I want to do, I'm just working with this nice thin paper and all of this project you'll be able to do, um, hopefully with simple pencils, um, although if you've got a big crayon or a wax crayon or something like that, then you'll be able to use that. Um, I've got this graphite stick, which is really good for the project and things like combs and a cheese grater. Uh, it still has some cheese in it. <coughs> okay, so what we're going to start off with is start off with a blank page. Now that's always a little bit intimidating. Um, so what I've gone and done already is I've gone and taken a rubbing of a piece of wood. Um, and all you do is you lay it down on a piece of wood and then possibly with the side of something, not pressing too hard, just gently stroke over it and you'll get this texture in it. So immediately we've gone from a white page to a textured piece of paper. And again, look at what you get from that and see where you think the fish shape might be. And I think there's a little bit of a fish shape here starting to develop. So I'm gonna try and locate my rubbings and my other things over that. So I pick up some of that as texture within the drawing. Um, and then quite simply what I've got is I'm gonna put the silhouette down underneath. Now you might need to hold up to the light just to so you can see what's going on. So I'm just gonna hold mine up to the light, work out a nice position for it. And then holding those two pieces, pop it down on the page on a hard surface. And then all you want to do to start off with is very gently rub to try and find the edge of that silhouette. So we're not rubbing over the whole middle bit, we're only going around the edge, just trying to define a little bit of the outline of the fish. So I'm just doing that quickly. Again, maybe go in the direction of the way you did the rubbing or the way the wood's going, so it doesn't kind of feel like an awkward mark up against what you're drawing. There's a little head coming out. And so again, you can now hopefully see why that texture underneath is helping it to camouflage the initial rubbing in the drawing. So now, I've got a silhouette of a fish. <coughs> of a fish. Um, I'm now gonna try and add some texture on the inside of it. So the first thing I did was I kind of drew the idea of what a fish skeleton looked like. And I've cut out really roughly and I couldn't be bothered cut down this bit. It's got a little bit of texturing in the veins and the tail and the fins. And now again, I'm gonna hold that up to the light, put it underneath, try and locate it in the right space using its shadow. So if you hold up the light, you can see through the paper and then hopefully if it's thin enough, locate that next part of your rubbing underneath. Hold the two things together so it stays in the right place. And then this time, you're going to start working from the inside of the drawing. So try not to go out beyond the edges. And don't worry if it's slightly misaligned. I think it adds to the happiness of the drawing and stuff. There's the little fins. Here's its ribs coming out. I'm only pressing lightly, just trying to pick up the edges of those chops and cuts that I made on that paper. Try not to draw in the whole thing too much. Just letting those silhouettes come out. And that front bit feeling a bit like the eye and the nose and the mouth. Nose? I don't know if fishes have noses. Okay, and then what you can do is you can realign that a little bit and you, you could rub in with another colour. But already we're getting this quite nice graphic feeling of a fish that we could work on. And then the only other thing I did was I kind of worked again with the outside of that off cut last time I did this and just put another couple of lines or edges into it, just to try and get a bit of sculpting into there. So this is the off cut of the outside of these shapes, and it's just giving me another little bit of definition and drawing. 
So I've now got this little sharp line that runs in there. I don't know if it works necessarily. Um, so you could stop there and then you could do a few more of those and you could try lots of different things out with it. Um, but there's nothing to stop you then beginning to be a bit more inventive and a bit more creative. So I'm just gonna do the whole process again with another drawing so we can compare them. So fish number one. Fish number two is going on a different piece of wood where I find this lovely rich grain. I'm very quickly going to repeat that process again. So where would the fish look good? Uh, the head might be interesting in that point there. So I'm going to try and hold that up. Again, rubbing around the outside. So now you can really see that texture of the wood helping me. Immediately I've got this wonderful kind of drawing texture in there. This time though, I'm going to use a comb underneath here. So I'm going to try and do this, the fins. Like that. Try and work out which angle they'd probably go at. Again, a lucky hit there, hit the edge and it went right along the line. It's quite a nice little thing. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and the other thing I'm going to use is this corner of this cardboard box. So this little edge here, just to try and define that head area again. So I'm going to put it underneath. Again, use the silhouette or the shadow up, holding it up in the wall. Try and, and you can cut your own curves and your own shapes out. And just rub along that edge just to define that head shape. So I'm only working on the inside bit. And I really want to try and find a knot or something like that, something circular. I could put the eye in with. So, <clears throat> good old cheese grater from last night, which I'm afraid I haven't washed because I just found it in the kitchen. Well, that didn't work. What a horrible eye that is. Um, I'm just going to draw an eye in. There's nothing to stop you redrawing and working in, although I quite like the fact that this is all frottage and rubbing, so I think it's a bit of a shame what just happened. Um, but you can get some quite nice graphic shapes with those kind of things. Um, the other thing I rubbed up against was the bottom of my ironing board. So that's given me this lovely shape, and I bet you can't guess what I'm gonna do now. So again, rubbing around that outside edge. Try and get that silhouette of a fish-like form. And now I am going to use a cheese grater. a whole load of patterns into there. I'm just going to move that round again and do it again. Obviously get permission from an adult at home to be able to borrow the cheese grater for this. But it's really quite nice. It gives me a kind of texture. Again, I would never draw that kind of texture normally on my own. I'm going to use my comb again. I quite like that effect. Again, just going to try and find 
that front curve which I like to draw in with that <clears throat> and then finally one more time I'm rushing a bit sorry about that <clears throat> And there's something to stop you rubbing back into this using colour and those kind of things. Okay, so there we go. Simple drawings um, done through rubbing, um, which can work quite nicely. Why not try it on a bright fluorescent piece of paper, see what you can come up with. So we start with this, that's the original one. Uh, then we went for some wooden texture, that's the next one. I hate that eye. Uh, but you do make mistakes in these kind of things, so you just got to go with it. Uh, and the one caught in the net, and then I've done a few more, so here they come. That's one with a little bit of yellow and colour in it. Again, I rubbed quite hard on that. That one's cheese grater comb uh, as another kind of idea. That's quite a solid blue graphic-y one, so I'm just getting little bits of colour in. There's another one that I did. Again, I just this was kind of offsetting and resetting the drawing and those kind of things. And then we've got that one too. Um, if you do not want to work with fish, then you could work with type, or I would like you to work with fish for this week, but there's nothing to stop you if you're doing this speaking out thing to take rubbings of typography and stuff like that, and then you can use that graphically uh, to make posters and spell things out. So you can cut your own letter forms, or I happen to have a private sign in my house, um, so I've just rubbed that. Again, you kind of get a sense of that. If you've got a glue gun, or you want to stick some string down and make a drawing, then you can always um, rub over the top of that. So this was a glue gun drawing, um, if you happen to have one, but again you could just stick glue down, stick string down with glue, let it dry for a bit, and then you could take a rubbing over the top. Again, if you add texture around the edges, um, things like this, you know, you get these things like fish caught in a net and stuff like that. Anyway, there you go, I hope that's okay. Enjoy it, be creative, take photographs, post them up on the middle thing, and make sure you hand in all your work, including the successes and failures, um, in photographs for the assignment, so I can give you a grade on this week's work. Okay, thank you, cheers, bye.